Do you wanna make the craziest pictures you've ever seen? Like this, or this, or these, or that, or that? Ooh, what about that? Maybe that one? Well, let me show you the process to do it. I'll be honest, this one is a little harder to teach and recommend because there is no concrete guideline to help you. But let me explain it the best way I can. And I wanted to thank Dirt Castle over in the YouTube comment section, great name by the way, for suggesting a video on this type of prompting. They called it chain prompting and I think it's a pretty good way of describing it. We're going to generate an image, then use it as an image prompt, and then run through that process over and over. This is going to create images that are more unique than 99% of other mid-journey generations. So let's start with making our foundational image. Here I made a glistening alien owl unsplash, S400. I think bumming up the stylized value is more of a personal preference, but I do recommend it. These are strikingly beautiful, already pretty amazing, but I really like the lighting, the shadows, and the color of number one. So we're going to upscale it, hitting the U1 under the grid. And then when we get the upscale, we're going to click on it so it expands. Then we're going to hit copy image address. Then we're going to go down to our prompt box, type imagine like we would normally. Now we're going to hit control V or command V, or you can right click and hit paste, but we're going to copy the image link to our upscale. So now that owl is our reference image, our image prompt. And then here we can type in whatever we want. And this is the start of the chain prompt. So you could type in something like a sunset in Monaco and it comes up with these. Now I think generating these pictures just from a prompt would be pretty difficult. But because we used an image prompt, we were able to layer them on top of each other. And even when you prompt something as simple as a medieval castle, it will now include that owl in the generation. You don't have to say an owl standing in front of a medieval castle, 3D render, beautiful, metallic. You know, you don't have to say any of that because you got all of that in the reference picture. Now when you say a medieval castle, it's going to match and blend the styles together. Really simple prompts can create these crazy looking images. Same thing here for a king's crown. I didn't need to say a golden crown built around an owl's head. You know, you didn't need to describe this prompt. You didn't need to write it directly. We included a reference image and then we included some random words. And this is why I say it's kind of hard to recommend as an overall mid-journey lesson because there there is no guideline. There are no set of examples that will work every time. This really is all about experimenting, using any image prompt you want and any words you want. This is how you'll get mid-journey images that look like nothing else anyone has ever created. But as far as experimenting goes, there are some things I suggest you try within that experiment. For starters, I think you should try different stylized and chaos values in your image prompts. So you've seen what it looks like as the baseline, but what if we add chaos and style values after. We're going to start to get something like these. This is stylized 400 and this means that Mid Journey was given a little creative freedom to come up with some beautiful generations. And I think it certainly did. Number two is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alternatively, you could add a little bit of chaos. Here is chaos eight. And what chaos is going to do is it's going to add variety to the grid. Each of the four images will now look a little different from each other. Here's what it looks like just a little bit at eight. Alternatively, you could bump it up to 40 and get these where number two maybe looks a little familiar, but now one is a little different. Number three is just a crown and number four, we've never seen anything like that. So the chaos is going to help you find something extra unique. Maybe one out of the four pictures are going to be perfect and that's going to allow you to create the most interesting images possible. However, my real advice is to combine both the stylized and chaos values. Here's S400 C8, which is kind of my sweet spot. This is what I like to experiment with the most. You give Midjourney some creative freedom and then you ask for some variety. I think these turned out really cool. I like number two a lot. I like number four. I, I like them all. But here's the kicker. This is why we experiment. Here's S400 C40 and just look at number two. I'm getting goosebumps again looking at it now. Holy cow. How would you ever describe that? A golden crown fused with a metallic owl that has burning glowing eyes. Like no, Midjourney is not at the point where you can prompt more and more detail into one picture. So finding a picture like this is crazy. And this is why I think it's good to call it chain prompting because we're gonna upscale
thumbnail number two, and then we're gonna use that as our image prompt moving forward. So same thing, we click on the upscale, right click and then hit copy image address. And now we're going to paste that into our future prompts. And look at these men. I put that crazy picture of the owl crown followed by the steps of Mordor and like, oh my God, could you make these pictures just using your words without chain prompting? I really don't know. I don't think so. Look how cool these are though. Man. Oh my gosh. Look what happens to the steps of Mordor when we add some stylized. It just makes it more beautiful. Like, oh my God, they look so cool. Add a little chaos, changes it up just a little bit. Like number one, now it's more of like a volcano kind of. At C40, we get definitely a different look. Bruh, look at the cruise ship. Oh my God, these are so cool looking. How could you ever make these without this process? I don't think it's possible. And then when you start adding things like a stylized value, you get these absolutely gorgeous images like photorealistic, beautiful nonsense. Just insane. Before we move on to the next tip, I wanted to let you know about my prompt pack now available on my website. It has 51 unique prompts where I show you exactly how to make a variety of beautiful images. You can copy and paste directly from the PDF into Discord. It's super easy to use. I hope it saves you time and I want you to see it as sort of a recipe book that you can consult for different ideas and inspiration. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Now you've seen what these look like when we take an image and add just a few words after. But my next big tip is to actually write a much longer prompt. Be way more specific. We're sticking with this picture and the idea of a cruise ship. But look, this time I wrote wide angle shot of a cruise ship, stock photography, tourist photo, and oh my god, more goosebumps. Look how good number two is, man. Can you believe that? It's just absolutely incredible. So stunning. Oh my gosh, insanely gorgeous. Add in some stylized value and you get these. Number three, docked near land. Like, oh wow, just insane. Here's your introduction to chain prompting. I have some more videos like this planned, so stay tuned for that. Leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.